All right, you guys, so of my morning routine of coming out here and looking at my figs and um, picking some fruits, making some evaluations early in the day, this is probably the best one of the day, at least I hope it is. I really hope I'm not gonna pick this fig too soon because we're gonna do a, a fig a variety review on this. It's called La Bourgeoisie. It's a French fig. And um, this one's in Bode's collection. I believe this is where it originates, or at least this is the person I think that's kind of been making it a little popular. Um, and that Bode really grows a lot of very tasty special figs. And uh, this one I think is no exception. So far, a lot of American growers have been able to get a hold of it, taste it, evaluate it, and can really believe or at least make me believe that this is a highly flavored fig that's really well worth growing. Um, I have one of them here in a pot that's extremely uh, vigorous. I would say this is one of the more vigorous varieties that exists and it sets a lot of fruits. So this is a good setter, good producer, good grower. It's kind of got the best of both worlds in that. I would say maybe the light requirements are a little bit below average, but still about average. So you need to still have to open up the center. You still have to give it the light it needs to set the fruits. But if you do, it should be a very productive tree. It should be a very productive variety. I have one in the ground as well that's growing. It's still a bit young. Um, it's probably up to maybe my uh, belly button, somewhere around there, maybe as high as this tree. And then by the end of the season, it probably will be up to my shoulders, if I had to guess. And of course, I'll have quite a few uh, cuttings to sell to you guys, if anyone's interested. This is um, a fruit that, I guess the wrap about it is that this is kind of like a col de dame, but it ripens earlier. And I would argue, yeah, I could see that. I mean, it did get a greenhouse head start, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. But uh, it did, I think, get a greenhouse head start. And although the fruits are ripening now in September, which would indicate that it's a mid-season variety, it could have produced earlier because a lot of these leaves down here that it formed early in the season in the greenhouse didn't produce fruit buds. It just didn't get enough light, I guess, to set the fruit buds. So therefore, a couple of these fruits or a couple of these nodes down here could have produced fruits and it would have ripened, for, I would imagine, probably with a greenhouse head start, maybe around uh, August 15th. So without a head start, I'm estimating this thing around September 1st. That's about a mid-season variety right there. So I would say it's pretty obvious and even just talking to other growers, it's a, it's a mid-season variety. September 1st is a pretty good date for um, a fig here, but if we can get them in August, they're gonna be even better. Um, there is some splitting down here at the eye. So that's not really characteristic of, uh, of a cold dom. Typically they don't split. Typically they hang well. Typically they have longer necks. You can see this one has a longer stem in addition to sort of something like a cold dom neck. But to me, this is so far from a cold dom in terms of just handling it here and feeling it in my hand. I just, I'm not getting the vibes of a cold dom. You know what I mean? Like. So I wouldn't say in any way this is related, but it's supposed to have, I'm just gonna remove a little bit of surface mold there. It's supposed to have a texture just like the cold denom. So it's supposed to be very thick and that's kind of the wrap is that it's um, a two week earlier cold denom that seems to be virus free, very productive, very vigorous, probably a more productive, easy to grow cold denom. Um, and it's supposed to have this, the similar texture to the cold denoms. So if all that's true, right, this is a great option for people in shorter season climates like myself who want to grow a fig like the cold denoms. They're so special, but they can be a little finicky. They can have some problems. They ripen a little bit later than you probably want. They deserve a greenhouse head start. Whereas this one here wouldn't necessarily need it and uh, would perform, I, I imagine, pretty well. So let's try the, the flavor here. This is very exciting for me. Oh, it's a little underripe. That's a shame. But we'll get to see 
if the texture is there. And interestingly enough, the colded almonds typically don't have a lot of acnes to them. But this particular fig here has a lot of acnes and they're very visible. You can see those white little flowers there. Many, many white little flowers. That's what a fig is. It's an inside out flower. And all the individual, uh, individual little white things there, a part of that is acnes. Those are the individual fruits. And depending on how big and how long and how numerous those are, it really changes the texture. Um, you want them less numerous, smaller, and I guess a bit more uniform um, to get the pulp texture that you're looking for, to get that very thick, cakey-like texture. That's what the cold adams have. So let's try this. Hmm. No, not cold and like at all. Eh, a little bit in that one. Good flavor. You can tell that the berry flavor is going to be there soon. It's not there yet. Um, it's a very sweet fig. Um, but the texture is not a cold and um, And um, maybe I should wait. I'm not gonna give it total judgment right now, as many of you guys might be thinking, well, after what I just said, or maybe some of the words I use and how I, how I uh, act and kind of um, give my opinions and things like that. Some of you guys might think, well, Ross is giving his final judgment. That's how it is. That's how it's always gonna be. No, this is the first fig off of a young tree. Um, this is how it is right now. This is how it is in this exact moment. But in the future, this will be very different, I imagine. I think I have a pigeon that just showed up. I've never seen a pigeon here before, and I think they eat a lot of tomatoes and things, so that's not good. Um, anyway, so that's, that's the fig here, guys, the bourgeoisie. I don't really think it's a lot like the Col de Dom so far. I don't think it's really anything like the Col de Dom so far. Um, Maybe in the shape, and that's it, you know? Um, so we'll see. That's a pretty bad, in my opinion, pretty bad review. I may not even put out this video, but if you enjoyed this one, uh, <laughs> if I did end up putting it out, uh, you know, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Hit that subscribe button and uh, check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll see you guys for the next one. Take care.